When you call my name, it's like a little bit I'm down on my knees, I want to take you down What are you doing in there? Oh, whatever. Ooh, what's up, people? Dabsy Wolves is right here, and what are you doing in my cupboard? Anyhow, today I thought to myself on showing you something that I've been wanting to show you so damn bad, and that is my microwave. No, of course not. It's not the bloody microwave. Are you stupid? But anyhow, remember, people, make sure you like and subscribe as usual. As always, the people I'm still go to you guys, and let's get this started. First off, let me go and say hello to my beautiful dog, Bella. How are you doing? Uh, you can't come in yet. It's not eight o'clock. You carry on playing around, okay? Now let's carry on moving. Anyhow, people, today what I've been wanting to show you so damn bad is my collection. You guys already already know. I always talk about my collection all the bloody time. And the collection is, well, you it's not Yu-Gi-Oh yet, we're, not, we're, we're gonna get to that soon. I've showed you my wrestling collection, which has been quite fun, I actually enjoy doing that. But this, this is a biggie. I might cut this down into smaller parts, probably part one, part two, maybe part three. You don't know how it feels. I might cut it down into three parts, maybe two. I hopefully say two. Because I have a big collection, and that is the games. The games have been around with me since say 2000, 2001, since I was a very young kid. I started when I began this gaming collecting and game playing with the PlayStation 1, the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Mega Drive. That were the only consoles I had. Handheld systems, it was a Game Boy and a Game Boy Color. That was it. And then the years went by and I got more and more and more. And right now, I don't know how much my collection is worth, but I'm sure it's worth a lot. But I'm not going to tell you that. But I'm going to show you my collection. So, we're going to start here. The living room, which contains two consoles. And that is the NES and the Wii U. Also, yes, the original Wii as well. So right there you have myself, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Came out in the 80s, if I recall. I have some amiibos there that have already been opened. I got myself uh, Link, Falco, Captain Falcon, Charizard, Olimar. I got Pikachu, Samus, Dr. Mario, Mario, Wario, Wolf. I mean, not Wolf, Fox and um, the blue and pink Yoshi woolly ones. But right under here, if you guys want to know, I'll, I'll get to you with this in a minute. But um, right down here... I have my collection of games that I've got for the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Wii U. Forget about them two games, uh, I'll get to them and not later on. But um, right now, these are the ones that I've actually played and I've actually completed. I know that one you can't really complete, but uh, you get my drift. And these ones I haven't even played yet, they're still sealed. But first off, the NES collection. So, pretty much, NES, as you guys know, it is a rare and expensive console if you want to get yourself collecting. Right now, people, you need to start collecting because these games will not last any longer in shelves anymore because they are getting harder to find and getting even more expensive to obtain. I remember a cartridge that I saw on eBay and there's some, some of them do go for a, not a lot of money on eBay, i.e. like the sports games and the Tetrises and all them lot, or the Mario ones with Duck Hunt because they don't worth a lot anymore. But boy oh boy, some of them do worth a bit. These are just obscure ones if you guys want to know, because in this little treasure chest, I have more NES console games. So let's have a little gander, shall we? And don't worry, people, we'll be playing some music as well. So we have here some loose cartridges because I don't have boxes for them because uh, I picked these up in, um, like, car boots or anything. So you have here a Mario, Tetris, and a World Cup triple cartridge. you got Defender of, the, um, Defender of the Crown, which is a quite good game. James Bond Jr., which is quite a fun game. Double Dragons is a classic. Marble Madness, awesome. Uh, Blue Shadow, I've been trying to play that. It's a quite a hard game when you get too used to it. 
Um, Adventures of Bayou Billy, very hard game, can never finish it. Terminator 2, finished it a couple of times. Um, Top Gun, never able to finish it because of the goddamn landing scene. Uh, Golf, it's a classic, everybody must have one of them. Hook, Festus Quest, and um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yes, the bad one as well. <laughs> but anyhow, that's the loose ones, but you might be thinking, that's not an NES collection, that, that's small. Well, I have my crown jewels hidden away from myself, just to, so they do not get any dust. That's why right, I keep them protected. And they're in here. Right in here is my prize possession for my NES, because number one, the hard to, these are hard to find, and number two, they're more valuable to my, to my liking. So we have here a box Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. Um, once again, I've got another Double Dragons 3, so um, I've got two of them, I can easily sell one if I wanted to. I have Mega Man 3, Double Dragons 2, Donkey Kong Classic, Mario 2, Mario, Mario 3 and 2. I got Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That box is in in a excellent condition. If you guys want to know, I have a Tailspin, and then my three prize possessions. All three of them in excellent condition. Everything's all together. There's nothing missing. The Castlevania trilogy: Castlevania Three, Dracula's Curse, Simon's Crest Number Two, and the original Number One. And Number One and Three are in solid plastic cases because they're the most valuable ones in my collection in the NES. I think the most valuable one is Dracula's Curse, if I recall. If you guys want to know how much that is, really is, check it out on eBay. You'll get my drift on how much this thing costs. Well, that's my NES collection. And we've already hit seven minutes. So yeah, we're definitely going to be cutting this into small parts if you guys want to know. So uh, yeah, so uh, let me go and leave this up oh yeah I'm missing I'm actually missing a game you might be thinking oh you're missing a few others yeah I am missing a good load of them like Metroid and everything but I am definitely not missing Legend of Zelda yep I do have the gold cartridge and it's still in my system because I can't stop playing it it's too much of a good game so why the hell not to play it so there's the Nintendo Entertainment System collection. It is quite big. Well, it's quite big for a person who needs, um, who has a small amount of money every week and needs to earn a living and pay my rent. So you get my drift. For the Wii U games, once again, the Wii U games, again, they are so damn expensive now. You can't even get your hands on them cheap. You can't even get them in the car booth. So if you're looking CX, retail shops, anywhere like that, pick them up. But well, right here I've got my complete collection, so I've got myself Pokemon Tournament, Super Mario Maker, Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 2, which is an amazing game. I got Warrior Oshi 2 Hyper, Lego Undercover, and Super Mario Bros. And plus I have myself a, a Wii speaker, which I do not know why, I just have it. For my seal games, I got Shovel Knight, Splatoon. Uh, Devil's Third. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got more. I forgot we had some more NES collections. I have to show you them in a minute. Uh, Legend of Zelda: um, Trial Princess, Yoshi's Woolly World, and Zombie U. So there's that. But here, let me show you these ones now. So you have yourself. Um, uh, it's like, this is a pain to get them all out. You got the original Ninja Gaiden. You got a very badly torn um, Faxian, which was in bad condition when I bought it. I've got another Time Lord. I know I've got, I'm getting a few duplicates here, but really, buying NES car cartridges, it's worth it. The very first WrestleMania, which is amazing. I love that game. Uh, Gremlins 2. The very first Godzilla. WrestleMania Challenge by the, de de by the dreadful LJN. Oh dear. You got Ghostbusters 2, which I think that the Ghostbuster games are going to get more valuable now, now that the new movie's coming out. You got um, Prince Valiant, Tom and Jerry, um, High Speed World's number one pinball, which is good, uh, Cobra Triangle, and the final one, Mission Impossible. So it is a small, well actually it's not small, it's quite big for boxed cartridge games uh, 
I don't think I don't see a lot of people living around my my, my area like Manchester and uh, all around there. You can't go wrong with your games, people. You can't go wrong. You gotta start collecting, people. You gotta start collecting to get yourself a great dosh of Wonga if you wanted to buy and sell or swap for whatever you want. Because I live in the United Kingdom, for God's sakes, and retro games are my life. I love collecting retro games and I can't stop buying them. So if you guys like to have the retro games that you want to sell, come hit me up and I'll pick them up. So right here as well, I got all these lot from the car boot this uh, this week, well today actually. I got myself a SNES with um, Super Mario Star All Stars, all this is pretty much for sale. I mainly buy and sell most of the time now because uh, I need the money. So there's that little collection. I'm not going to show you them because they're just they're not going to be on my collection at all. But this here, the dark room, also known my games room. Yes, people, this is the games room, and boy oh boy, it is massive. Open up the curtain so you can get some light in these scenes. As you guys know, all this lot here is actually for sale too. I actually buy stuff again and sell it on, like I do. But don't worry about that, people. You don't want to see that. Right here is also what I bought today. CX. I bought my next collection of Resident Evil. Resident Evil Survivor 2 for my collection. Super happy. And also... Devil's Summoner, a very rare and expensive game, as you can see. But I'm happy to get that because also I got this, which was dirty, dirty cheap, two pound forty nine for Final Fantasy thirteen. I needed a copy with the manual and the disc because I've got one around here that needs a cover and everything. So why not obtain it and get it? So happy days, you know what I mean? Hell yeah! Anyhow. You get that, and they plus got some headsets here. But this here is my PS4 collection. Yeah, there's a lot, and plus there's this game here, which is a piece of garbage. It's the worst Assassin's Creed ever. Definitely wasn't the worst Assassin's Creed that they ever made. I've got some very obscure ones here, like um, Senran Kagura. Definitely go and play that, people, even if you're a perv. Akiba Strip, which is very good as well. <laughs> Uh, GTA 5, of course, you have to have that in your collection. Same thing with Sleeping Dogs and Watch Dogs and Until Dawn. If you don't have Until Dawn, people, you gotta get it. I have the 20th anniversary still sealed because I might as well. I have my Kingdom Hearts collection that is pretty much complete. I'm just missing the new ones that are coming out soon. I got some very obscure Mr. Game & Watch games which are quite awesome to obtain. Then right here is my Resident Evil collection. I am missing only one game. That's right, I'm missing one game. And that is on the Game Boy Color, which is in Tokyo, Japan. That's why I'm going there this year, because I'm going to try my hardest to obtain it. So, you get my drift there. And that's my Final Fantasy collection. With my Final Fantasy, I got the freaking figures. Hell yeah, people. Tons of tons and tons of figures. It's a lot of them. Ooh. And plus here you have yourself the amiibos. There we go, focus there again. Now we've got the amiibos here. These are ones I like the most and you know that I do not want to open because they're so damn hard to come by now, like Lil Mac, Show, Lucario. Mewtwo, well Mewtwo isn't really hard one to look for, but the Silver Mario And plus you got some giant Yon Yoshi, I got some wrestlers as well like Hulk Hogan still in the box Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker And plus uh, you don't know you got my knife collection which is just a few knives And plus my, one of my favourite prize possessions Persona 3 FES on PS3 Plus I have myself a game that I'm playing up to now, which is Anima, Gates and Memories, it's a quite good game, do enjoy it. I have a few Game Boy games that I've obtained myself, so I've got to worry about that. Find myself right here, the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PS4, Sega Mega Drive with Castlevania Bloodlines, the Dreamcast, the SNES, with one of the most expensive games, K2. 
Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania 4, people. Very good game. I have some Famicom games from Final Fantasy because when I get to Tokyo, I am definitely going to go and get myself a Famicom. And then down here, I have myself sealed products that are going to be stayed sealed because uh, we keep the value when they're sealed, of course. Um, I have the PS1 here, which is the Silent Hill edition, which is good. Xbox 360, the GameCube, Nintendo 64, and the original Xbox. What is missing, people? What do you think is missing? The Xbox One! I'm missing that! That's the only main one that is missing and when I get that, my collection is complete. I am not going for the Neo Geos, the Atari Lynx, I mean Atari Lynx, the um, Atari Jaguar and all that lot because they're not, well they are for extreme collectors but I'm not an extremist because I haven't got enough room for that. I've got enough room to make this lot but that's it! <laughs> but. Uh, that's not all of it people because every single box is filled with games and to tell you right now what games I do have and what I definitely am looking for that's another story <clears throat> so with that being said that's the end of part one the next part I'll be showing you more of the games mainly the great ones See you guys then.